yesterday, uh, NATO forces had another successful day over Kosovo. We Finally, you may have heard reports of atrocities in the region of Izbica. This image taken on Thursday shows what may be up to 150 graves near the village. The inset taken on 9th March shows the area in its original state. Is that the, the time taken to clarify this unexplained convoy incident could begin to dent? Uh, we've told you what we know already. Uh, and in fact, no, no, I said, I, I've said, I have told you what I know. You, you know whether there were You know how many you know hits there were? were on the low sir, well, you can, you can interrupt me you, uh, if you wish, but I've told you that I have given you the information that I know. And my, my, my mind is clear on this one, Christopher. I have told you what I know. And if oh, I get more, and the general has told you what he knows. Let me uh, add something. Now, we can, we can stay on the subject for as long as you like, but my line will be the same. When I have more information, when I receive more information, I will pass it on. Uh, yesterday, uh, NATO forces had another successful day over Kosovo. I want to report, sir, that he is in good condition. He has been examined by a doctor. He has been given uh, shelter, food, and has access to religious counselling. He has also access to the International Committee of the Red Cross, and he will have all the protection and rights accorded by the Third Geneva Convention. He will be able to send and receive mail, communicate any complaints, receive medical care, and to have his habits, customs, and religious practices respected. Uh, he will not be used for propaganda purposes. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I, I do apologize. I gave such a long answer to Doug that I forgot there was a question for the general. Excuse me. Uh, as we'll come to you right away. 